Oh yeah, we're really tech savvy here. I think I'm good. Maybe up here. You let me know just if it's like, I don't know, it's like on my, on my stomach. Goes I mean, it's like, right? Not probably a good look. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna jump right in to hopefully save us some time. First thing I want to talk about is organization. Some of this is a repeat from your baby stepper meeting earlier, but it's all really good stuff, so I'm going to tell you again. Um, these are just some things I want to help you before I give you a whole bunch of dance wear and before you're late to something or you forget something or you miss something and you're upset or in trouble or whatever. I really just want to help you by telling you these things. Um, label everything. Pretty much everything you get from me will already be labeled. Uh, but if the label fades, just relabel it on the tag. Um, there's 24 of you guys right now. We're having an extra tryout next week. So uh, that's 24 pairs of the same black booty shorts and 24 sports bras and all that good stuff. So you just want to make sure you get everything labeled. Um, file all your emails from me. Read through them. If it's something that you don't need to see again, parents, that this applies to you guys the most. I know you probably don't want to know, hey, we're meeting in the dance studio at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. You need to wear your purple bra and your, you know, blah, 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 blah. Hair can be curly or straight. I know that that doesn't apply to you, so feel free to delete those. But everything else you need to file away um, and reference back to it because it will just help you as the year goes on. Um, so, yeah, I would make a little folder for me and all my annoying emails just in one spot. Uh, calendar. You guys need to be keeping your own calendar with your things on it and my things on it, my high stepper things. Um, I'll be honest with you, I do the same thing um, so that I remember, you know, when my anniversary is and <laughs> when I have plans and when I, you know, I go to the dentist too, when that step is so that I can make sure it doesn't conflict with our practices. Um, you guys need to do the same thing. It will help you out. So many heartaches of... Oh my gosh, Coach Apple, I just realized that tomorrow is my grandmother's birthday and I have 20 family members coming in. And Can I miss the practice and still be in the game? Mm, well, no, you can't miss the practice and still be in the game. So maybe if you had gotten excused earlier or maybe if you'd planned it out better, you could have planned it around. And then you still could have gone to, because I understand that you need to go to that. But that doesn't mean that I can let you go be in the game if you haven't come to practice. So uh, get all of that organized together so we don't have those sad moments of, oh, I really want to do this, but I can't. Um, I will update my online calendar regularly. So you can get to that through the High Stepper webpage. There is a High Stepper calendar. Uh, it will be updated so that you know when all the upcoming things are. I am hoping to have basically a year plan for you when we start back up in the summer. Uh, not every single time and every single day, but it should have, you know, when we're going to competition and when show is and all of that stuff. Um, we didn't have that this past year, and it drove me crazy, as I'm sure it drove you guys crazy as well. So hopefully you'll have those dates a lot sooner. Um, any questions on organization? Good. Communication. Question hierarchy. Ask your officer. So girls in here, if you have a question, please text your officer. Um, we are going to, one of my goals this year is to create a much stronger team. I think it'll be a better experience for you guys. It'll be more productive, all that. And so I want you to be comfortable enough to text your officer. So we're going to have plenty of events to make sure that you know them and all that. And so they're going to be your buddy. So if you don't remember, you know, what top we were on Tuesdays, you don't have to necessarily call me or text me. You can text your officer and then, um, and they probably stay up later than me too. So they're probably, you know, <laughs> easier to get a hold of that way. Um, uh, parents, if you guys have a question, I'll also encourage you if it's a parent question. I mean, obviously there are some questions that are just for me and please send those to me. Um, if it is a parent question, please encourage your daughter to text the officer or text the parent or our new executive booster club. They have all stepped up. They want to be a part of this team. And they're all veteran members as well. One thing that I think is so awesome about this next group of exec veteran members is that they've all done it once. So they all know. They don't just know about the booster club fundraiser. They know that on Friday, you have to give your kid forget something. You have to bring it to her between such and such time and the dance, you know, so they just know kind of those things on how, what to do. Um, and I think I can speak for all of them when I say y'all are happy to talk to people, right? Absolutely. Email you, all that fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, call, 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 call me. Call or text me. I'm call or text her. I'm not the baby to email her. I am. <laughs> Amy is on top of email. Yeah. <laughs> 
of accountability. Okay, I want your daughters to be the most responsible kids on, at Huddle High School. Uh, not just for high steppers, not just for me, but because that's an awesome life skill. And the more that we can raise them up now, the better they will be in college. They will be, the better they will be when they start working. Um, and just, you know, the easier their life is going to be. If they can learn time management and responsibility and keeping a calendar now, things are going to be so much easier for them when they, you know, leave home and all of that good stuff. So please encourage them to be the ones to know what they're doing. Yeah, it's not, they shouldn't be coming to you going, Mom, what do I wear on Wednesdays? <laughs> Which, better remembers, what do we wear on Wednesdays now? Free New Wednesday day. top. Free, Free day. day. Yay. Very exciting. Um, but so they shouldn't be like, oh, Mom, what time do you think I have to be there for the um, fundraiser this Saturday? They should know all of that stuff. So they shouldn't be asking you. You shouldn't be having to look through your emails. You shouldn't be having to call me or anything like that. They should already know this information. We do what's called family time at the end of practice every day, and I give announcements there. And I tell them, this is something you need to tell your parents. Um, maybe if you're trying to grow responsibility in your daughter and we're not quite there yet, maybe be like, hey, did Coach Apple give you any announcements today? And maybe that's a good way for you guys to you know, figure out be on the same page. Uh, hey, did you guys talk about anything special during family time? Um, so they should know all that stuff. If they have a conflict, we're going to talk about what's excused and what's not excused absence-wise in just a second. Um, they can come talk to me about it. I've, they're going to be nervous about that at first, and that's normal, and that's okay. Um, but I want them to be the ones to come up to me and say, Hey, Coach Apple, my grandmother's turning 100 on such and such day, and my whole family's going in. I know that's going to mean that I'm going to miss something. You know, what can I do? And then I'll look at it, and if I – I mean, I'm, obviously you can go. I can't tell you you can't go. Um, if there's a consequence, I'll let you know. If not, um, I always want you to get to do all those special family things. Um, so – Come talk to me about it. Yes, field trips. I don't want to hear about the field trip from your teacher that sends out that email through Miss Walters and all of that through the front office. You guys need to come tell me so I can plan um, plan our practices and make sure we're not doing something, you know, that that day that you're going to miss out on. So come talk to me. Your mom doesn't need to write a note. I only need a doctor's note if it's more than uh, a day of being absent is the only time you need a note. Emails are going to come from me or uh, your Booster Club secretary. Uh, please do not reply all. Um, just <laughs> reply to the one person, and some of our veteran people might know what I'm talking about. Uh, this, please do not reply all on that. 24-hour uh, rule. So I love your kids a ton. I love them, love them, love them, love them. Um, you may not know that yet, but I think hopefully by the end of the year you'll understand that. But I am not their mommy or their daddy. And I have to make decisions sometimes based on the entire team. And there is going to come a time when I'm going to make a decision that you're not going to agree with. And that, again, is also just fine. We can completely move on from that. Um, what I'm going to ask of you is to give me a day. Wait 24 hours before you come talk to me about why you're upset. And then that way, that gives you time to cool down, and you will be able to present it better to me. And I promise I will better understand you if we just kind of have that one little cool down period, and then let's talk. Because it's fine. We will not agree on everything this year, and I want to hear your concerns. And I'm not always 100% right. You know, maybe, maybe there's another side of the story that I need to see, and, and I want you to come bring that information to me. But please do wait, because uh, if you talk when you're really angry, um, I'll tell this to your girls too. I always say it after officer tryouts and stuff like that. You know, if you're really angry, you're probably not going to present yourself in the correct way. Um, and you're going to make me defensive, and we're just going to go over down a whole other path that I don't want to go down, and I don't want to be that person. So help me. Um, Help me help you. We're all on the same side. We're all on the same team. Um, and just give me a little bit of cool down time. Or give yourself or whoever needs it. Um, both of us. Questions on that? No? Girls, if you're coming in, you can find your families. They um, should have a packet for you. If you do not have family up here, you can come right over here and I can hand you your folder yourself. Thank you. <laughs> we all have family. Not, not if they're just not in the building yet, you can come grab one. Just one of the folders? Yes, one of the folders. Yes. 
You might be here from day class last year. I like half. No, I'm going to use first, so I don't think that's fair. anybody. So that's why I'm going to ask you again to please read all of the rules. You were given a constitution before we started. You need to understand the constitution. Go home, read it again. So before we don't have some, you know, mistake or something like that and you're upset and I have to remove you from a game and I'm upset and nobody's happy. I don't want that for anybody. I want everybody to get to be in all the games and all that good stuff. Um, but I need you guys to understand the rules. And I need you to let me know if something's not clear so that I can make sure we don't have that situation. Um, because, again, I hate – I feel like sometimes people think that teachers are just, like, looking for you to, to discipline them or give them a bad grade or give them a strike or something like that. And that's um, untrue. I would say I have all teachers that I know, and particularly myself. Um, new mark and strike system. We went over that in a tryout meeting, so you should know. Uh, you get one warning mark. And then after five, you get benched. Um, I've done this in the past. My uh, last team did it. I have maybe benched like two girls for not for marks or something like that. But I think they 